Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and greetings, Alishan Ma here. What a nice, bright, sunny day. Windy, yes, it is windy today. Now, you have watched my video of Atom RC Dolphin, and that maiden flight was amazing. I mean, you have watched how fast this plane can go on 4S. Now, I have set it up with FPV system. There's a video transmitter here. Uh, there's a XAR a receiver here, which is about two kilometers of range. There's a flight controller S and light in there and um, for the FPV camera instead of installing two cameras I went with Firefly 4K mini split and this is installed here now there is a shoe issue with that which I'm going to describe very soon but FPV and 1080p HD recording or 4K recording at the same time that is possible with that camera right here without having to have two different cameras so this is my setup let me just bring the camera closer and show you and also talk about the issue that I'm having with this plane now having to have this beautiful, sleek, sexy aerodynamic design is really nice, but the convenience, of course, video transmitters right here, plenty of space for battery, my U-Bag is here to balance the CG, very easy access to rear hatch, and you can see all the installation of my SNL was very nice, it's still there are a lot of noodles but I can always sort them out. This is just my test setup at the moment. Now, let's talk about issues. After you do the things and install the antennas in, no matter you cut the grooves here for the cables, still, this now is proving to be not very strong. So magnets probably running out of their power. I have no idea. This is still very strong. I can lift almost all the plane. The biggest issue is right here in the nose. That is where you're going to install the cameras. Now, obviously, for GoPro 6 or 7, they have given you a mount that you just put the GoPro in and put that, you know, mount there and install your FPV camera somewhere else unless you know how to get the AV out from the GoPro. But if you do not have GoPro, then you have to go through this pain every time. I find the magnets are not too strong in the nose and that is why I have to show you this is an issue so it's very easy to come off during flight I believe or upon landing now Firefly split 4k 4k mini 4k split mini I believe it works very well I have FPV feed and at the same time I'm recording 1080p HD or 4k but in order to start stop recording I need to reach to this button right here and for which I need to remove this thing again and again and after removing and starting the uh, I mean once I start everything I have to remove that start the video and once the video has started recording I have to go and tape this over and over again before every flight anyway I'm, I'm gonna do something about it my idea and uh, suggestion to the designer instead of using two uh, magnets use four so we have one, two, three, four, and this will be very, very strong. And also, also, I mean, they designed it for GoPro 7, so they don't want to change it. Also, give us something that we can open this top part, because this is a two-part nose cone. If we can open the top part, we will have lots of ease, lots of ease to settle our FPV camera. Otherwise, some FPV cameras don't even fit, and you have to cut it, cut the glue, take it apart, fit I mean cut the foam fit the FPV camera then glue it again lots of trouble so I hope the designer can do something about the nose and how the FPV flight will go I hope the SNL can handle those high speeds and I hope everything goes right welcome to the first flight it's very windy today and I still have to test if my flight controller is going to cooperate with me or not let's test some cruising speeds and see how many amps my setup will draw at different speeds keep an eye on speed dial at left center and amps at top left corner of the screen at 122 kilometers per hour plane was drawing about 14 amps only so i can cruise at a good 100 plus kilometer per hour speeds and drain only 7 to 10 amps at given conditions Cool. Testing the manual flight mode now. I realized, 
that stabilized mode can go bonkers at time, if I fly at high speed. Back to stabilized flight mode, let's punch it and see how much speed I can get at this altitude. See that, I am going against the winds at this moment. Wow, 151 kilometers per hour. And only draining 16 amps. That is some efficient setup right there. Let's watch the same high speed clip again. And this time without OSD so you can enjoy the views. And here is another high speed clip. Same 151 km per hour speed. Look at the terrain below us. This plane sure can move. Now check this out. Right now I am not hitting full throttle. Just keeping it in higher cruising speed limits. See the OSD data, the flight speed in Armstrong? I am super happy with my setup. Time for landing. I want to change the battery and go bonkers on second flight. Making a nice approach. It's always so much fun to land with FPV view. Hope you enjoyed the flight. All right. Welcome to the second flight. You can see from OSD data that I am cruising at speeds of 106 km per hour but still draining 7.6 amps only. I believe my setup on Dolphin FPV wing is pretty efficient. It's very windy today, so stay with me. Lots of turbulence and shakes today. And that is why I am flying in manual mode. Ok, now I am turning around for a high speed full throttle pass. Check the OSD. Wow, 158 km per hour. That was sweet. Got to do that again. Climbing up and as I am feeling more confident. I am gonna pull some FPV aerobatics, so hold on to your glasses. Here comes an inverted. Anyone threw up? Sorry, the bath bags are right in front of you in the seat pocket. Here is another high speed pass and I hit 158 km per hour. Enjoy another roll. And now a straight dive after a roll. Hold on to your coffee cups please. Dolphin wing is absolutely best for FPV aerobatics. It's very agile yet very stable at the same time. Hope passengers are all okay. Time for a landing. High speed joyride is over. Man, that was absolutely a blast. I am happy about it. And yes, 158 km per hour max speed, 185 meters max altitude achieved in this flight. So, I just landed, and after takeoff it was doing very well, but I realized at high speeds, SM light is giving up. It doesn't control the elevator properly and seems like plane it just keeps going down i realized you know all you need to do is switch to manual mode and when i switch to manual mode i realized that's where the real high speed fpv fun actually is and soon i was getting my confidence back i was pulling full throttle 
almost 160 km an hour passes and even aerobatics like rolls and I flew it inverted. Man, <laughs> this is simply crazy. Now wait for my 6S motor to arrive and once I got my 6S motor, then we're gonna have more fun. Probably we can pull up to 200 km an hour. No idea. We'll find out very soon. So stay tuned for more videos coming your way very soon. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you like it. Give it a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that little bell icon and stay updated for all the more exciting upcoming updates for long range flights with, uh, with some new drones. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.